Welcome to the episode of World Tour. This time we're doing the Suburbia level. Because every fucking skateboarding game is a Suburbia. It's like fucking lore. So let me get the book real quick because it's on the, on the fucking bed. But essentially, Suburbia is going to be interesting. The fact that it's kind of a mess and it's beginning of where a lot of cuts are going to be really happening from this point on. There's some body burials. There's some big high scores. Uh, basically we're on the 100,000 point thing now, even though this is the third level of the fucking game. Uh, we have some destruction of that tower there, we have some valves to grind on, there's the tower thing. Uh, we have, like, a few of these CDs to find, and we also have the transmitter, and as well as the bosses, which for this one, which opens the gate for the old mansion, is the Chris Hooker girl, and the postal mayor man who apparently has a fucked foot. So I'm gonna get the book right now. Because this one is where the score fame becomes a bit of a problem for people who aren't ready for things. So don't try it at home because, you know, cars, body burials aren't easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the boss out of the way right now because that's gonna be the easy one to take care of. I'm gonna take out the transmitter as well. Hang on. Okay. So. Let me just get to the page where um, the important stuff is, aka the actual score we're going for. Level 3. 900k! Yeah. Essentially, the game wants us to get nearly 1 million points in the third level of the game. In order to get everything in the game, we have to get nearly one million in the third level. Yes, that means that five levels out of the eight levels that this game has require you to get over a million points. The last level, it's not even a fucking, like, optional thing. Like, you need a million points to beat this game. So, yeah, I hope you know how to get good score. I'll show you. Don't worry. But if you didn't watch this video or the other videos or you don't know what the fuck you're doing going on blind, you will probably fuck yourself if you don't find out about this real quickly. Which is, of course, the manual shit. Because... As you saw before, the manual has really helped. Uh, it helps really hard on the carnival level. And it helped on the race. Uh, but it's not really, you know... It's not really sound on how helpful it can be. Because when you saw me doing it in the carnival, it didn't look that impressive. It didn't look like I was doing that much. I kept going back and forth on it. You know, the last level, the first level we did was a lot more impressive in a way because I went through and didn't do that trick and also I actually got shit done. Also, there's tokens here around the boss, the uh, transmitter area. Take care of that, why don't you? Don't forget, get all 20 of these fucking tokens to get a new scooter. So, uh, I tried looking around, getting some more of this shit, but unfortunately I kept fucking up and obviously ran out of time. I'll be doing some junk kind of soon, don't worry. There's a car, he's beeping at me, I didn't get bailed. I bail any other way except there. The bail is really weak in this game, so it's not going to worry too much for me. And, uh, yeah. That was the first run. Okay, third run, but the first for what you've seen of this fucking level. Body burial and the transmitter, as well as the bosses. So, now it's time for the other goals, as well as collectibles. I believe next up will be the valves. So let's go ahead and jump right to that. So the valves, we have to grind on five specific rails to get these. And I do mean five specific ones. Each uh, rail has a grind. Like, like each rail has a, uh, a valve on it. So there's two on those rails. There's two next to these houses like this. And there's one on the opposite end on the tree. That's it. Pretty easy. They're all around this little pool area. Just grind on every spot, every nook and cranny of the grinds you can go for here, and you're done. 
So now they're emptied, and now you can actually go and use these po these pools you wanted to, which can be useful for getting some of these collectibles, but uh, you can't get them without having to do that first. Uh, but right now, I'm going to try to get the collectibles, which aren't going to be that simple. The reason for this is because of getting them. Some of these require you to make specific jumps across rails. And yeah, you know, you touch just a little bit wrong. Uh, you will go way off and you will miss it and it will probably piss you off a little bit. And now a plan of power. You know, references, obviously. Okay, now I'm gonna jump cut and we're gonna begin doing a whole bunch of stone collecting. Like that one right there, that's 10. We're only halfway done. Uh, next up will be this one, which we're gonna do that shit. That's 11. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way, which if you do, you will find number 12. And, uh, ran out of time there. And now I got the pulls out of the way, so there you go. Next up, run that for 13. Keep on grinding, 14's right above us, like so. And that's breakable over in front of us, but we're not going for that right now. Instead, we're getting that one, which we're going to jump in the air, 15. And now we're going to grind this way, and we're going to make a jump to the left, or just grind it for 16, there you go. Now, break through the windows and this random shelf area, and you'll find something inside here where the rest of the tokens are. 17 is the music token, by the way. 18, uh, there's 19 and 20, which are on the right side here. And we got a scooter. Okay, so now comes the important part of everything else. So I took care of all that bullshit. Now it's time to grind this to knock down the radio tower. Pretty anticlimactic in a way, but there you go. Next up, we are going to be grinding this shit to get a just random optional destruction. Much more cinematic and enjoyable. Now, grind this spot all the way for the CD. That's two. And for the third one, it's actually this little area here, completely out of the way. Break through and find it there. Just don't fuck up like I'm doing right now. Okay, so that's all three CDs. That's more beautiful we never got to listen to. Now, let's go ahead and just take care of the score. So, you know about the manual shit, you know about the grind shit, you already know how great it is. Well, here's a great spot to go for it. I'm kidding. A really good spot is over the entrance that we were at before which is the road. All we have to do is stay on the road and keep doing our bullshit. Also, don't be afraid to go for grinds every now and then. If you do, and you keep doing it for a little good bit, uh, it kind of calms down the manual bar a bit, which makes it easier to keep going back into it over and over again. The problem is, the more you go back and forth, the more unstable it gets, and the more things get fucked, so... It's not a be-all, end-all sort of deal. Anyway, we got some costumes. We'll be getting costumes and shit every time from this. Nothing different from that. Uh, I got, you know, the free time. We got the four time right about here. Uh, as well as the five time and maybe the six time. Uh, but, yeah, the, the actual score we need, 900,000, I don't get it on this run. I get some of the shit here, but not that. So I had to play it for to show off the goal thing because we did indeed complete all the goals here. So I nearly got 900,000 by the way. Have a look at how close I got. It was pretty gnarly that I got that close. And also a nice little gap there. Yeah, if I landed that I would have gotten it. Unfortunately, I bailed somehow. Bailing is weird in this game. It doesn't make much sense and it's just kind of off, essentially, on how the fuck you fucked up. Especially when the controls act a little weird, and sometimes, you know, grinds fail somehow, and all this shit. It's, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. What does, though, is, you know, doing this abusive, 
manual fucking special shit. That makes sense. Alright, so now comes the fun. That was not fun. Let's get to the actual fun, which is getting the points. Once at 9 out of 1,000, that is the last time we are ever going to get under a million, essentially, for, like, the scores. Every single part from here on out is going to focus on getting over a million points. Now, I know some of you out there who watch these videos really want me to play these games like Fug Fucking Pro. Well, after this part, I kinda start doing that in a way. Though in a very abusive, silly way. Because I will be getting pretty crazy scores for the fucking later levels. And you will like that a lot. Trust me. Especially the last level. You are going to love the score I got on the last level. But uh, essentially, uh, this is maybe a uh, Fug Prize player's uh, favorite dream if they were, you know, into scooters in some way. Because the main goal that's optional to go for is to get a big fucking score. And when it comes to Fug Pro players, they love their high score attacks. They love going for billions of points, trillions of fucking points, beyond the fucking scale of pointage. They're insanely addicted to it. This is for you, alright? This game, if you want to get into scooters, this game is all about getting big fucking scores. It wants you to get big fucking scores. It's a requirement for 100%. So, why honestly, get World Tour and fucking score, man. Get billions of points. Get crazy. Like, get it all in one fucking combo with, like, a goddamn 1,000 trick combo and, like, 1 million points in that. Go crazy on that shit, guys, because, trust me, the game allows you. Unlike other games where, you know, after a bit, after getting a certain amount of score, a certain high score combo, it just sort of, like, cuts you off. You know, it just cuts off your combo. Unlike a certain game that does that, this game actually respects your bullshit. Okay, so that's that done. Now it's time to go ahead and do the, um, the race, which, it's going to be a lot of interesting fun for that. And by the way, I have to check the manual because I thought, I actually thought I was, I didn't show the nine. It didn't show what my reward for the nine is. In fact, n it will never show you what the nine is. Uh, never show you what kind of reward you got unless you see it. So, really, all you need to know is that it's a fucking character design or a scooter design. That's about it. Okay, now the race. It's always the same enemy. Have you noticed that? It's always the same monster guy. Like, I have not seen it be any other enemy except the same monster guy. Like before, manuals reign supreme. The AI cannot beat you when you are manually down a fucking ramp in this race. So, and not only that, he can't beat you when you jump on a downward ramp and then manual in the middle of it. It just makes you fly. You are basically fucking invincible to this prick at that point. So, the only thing stopping you here is the obstacles. Just like dodge shit, don't lose your manual, don't bail, and uh, you're good to go, honestly. That's... That's it. That is this uh, whole race thing. And each race can be done in seconds. It's kind of a joke, honestly. And there you go. So now it's time for our reward. Who did we unlock? Let's have a look see. getting slow. This is Vixen, which, uh, you know, that's pretty neat. Vixen is a, uh, pianist. Alright. 
so we got Wasabi, the uh, the roadie. We got Roxy, the lead singer. We have Lunk, who we just played as, who is the drummer. And now we got Vixen. And also we're back onto this shit, the time attack crap. Which all I have to do is get about 1,500,000. Like, 1, no, 150,000, I mean. Pretty easy. Uh, just like, you know, do some manuals, all that crap. Main thing, always the manuals. Just go crazy on the fucking manuals and the specials, and you're done. There's nothing else to say about this one. It's just a basic bitch bonus stage. Yeah, and that's it. Dude. So, yeah, that is this part of World Tour. And uh, at this point, things are going to get more crazy now because now I'm going to try and get much more higher scores. We're going to try and get much more difficult shit. And uh, we're going to be going through some crap. <laughs> I'm unstoppable. As a vixen. I'll get it next time. So there you go. Why do I even try? She's very bitchy. And our new scooter, his Mall Free. Uh, it is worse than the previous one because it has lesser jump. So, yes, that's not that different. It actually lowers on everything else. I, it's okay game, whatever. Next time on World Tour, we're doing City in the Sky. I'll see you then.